What's up? It's your girl Socks. Don't forget the X. And today we got Dreesy. Hey. A little Jersey from Apaka. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How you doing today? I'm all right. Yeah. yeah okay. I'm hungry, but you know. I mean, that's us, always us skinny girls. We always hungry. Yeah, uh-huh. I agree. I completely agree. Understand? Yeah, <laughs> I understand that. Okay. So, for those who don't know, go ahead and give us a little bio about you. Just like what it is you do. Why? Why we know you so good in the city? Okay, so let me sit up for this. I am Dreesy, aka Lil Dre, Dre from South Apopka. I am a rapper. I have been rapping for maybe like two and a half years, maybe two years, and some change now. And I started on social media, and I gained a humongous following there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you started two years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, how was it? Like, you just, are you a shy person? You're not a really a shy not person. Really. So, like, you coming out, you doing social media, <clears throat> when you got that reaction from everybody, how was that? Like, was it like, oh, my God, or was it like, oh, yeah, no, I got it? Yeah, no, honestly, when I first started doing music, well, when I put the idea out to my mom, I was like, Mom, I'm going to do this. Mm-hmm. Like, I was so scared that nobody was going to like me. Why? Literally, because I never did it before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I was like, dang, ain't nobody going to like me. So, like, the reaction that I got, my first video, like, I posted, I think, I don't even know how many views it got, but I think it got, like, at least 10,000 views within a mm. week. I was like, oh, damn. Okay, the response was amazing. <laughs> right. So, it was super, it was super, I was like, oh, damn. I was shocked. So, I know, like, the first time that I seen you was... You were inside of a car. Mm-hmm. That's where you do almost most All of your stuff. Majority of them, yeah. And um, you were snapping. And I was mm-hmm. like, where's she not from Orlando? Who is this? Uh, like, yeah, I'm from uh, And um, <laughs> it was crazy because you were just, you were on my Explore page. So then when I went to, like, go mm-hmm. see what you had going on, I was like, oh, you've been doing this for a while. So when you, when you were doing uploading and uploading, what made you just turn it into being like, okay, I want to really make this like a career out of this, not just me just doing this on Instagram. Um, honestly, I didn't start getting like feeling that way until I say maybe the end of the last year, beginning of this year. Like, okay, I really need to because I'm tired of people seeing me. Oh, Dracy, the Instagram rapper. No, mm. like, I don't. It just like the love that I got that I got. Like, it was just like okay, so these people really want they really want this music. Right. So. That's what made me be like, okay, you need to move it from Instagram and actually do this because you actually want to get somewhere. I'm right. tired of working while I work it, so I'm trying to make a comeback. I know that's right. No <laughs> nine to five. Yeah, no, I do. Right, I get it. I get it. So, what was your first song? Like, not freestyle, no nothing. What was your first song? My first song was Valley Chicks. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. It's so crazy. I just listened to that song. For the first time since I recorded it. And you listen <laughs> to it like that growth. Yeah, for sure. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Like, that song is still fire. Really? Like, I listened to it because I was like, dang, this this sounds dope. But um, that was, it was Valley Chicks. It was Valley Chicks. And that's honestly what got me in with the radio. Really? Yes. Like, they loved that song. Mm-hmm. And it just took off from there. So, I was like, okay. You know, I... I wasn't a big fan of it, but now I'm, it's a blessing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I've noticed that, like, artists, they don't like a certain song, and it's that song it that is. takes them it's to, like, always like that, that next mm-hmm. level. Then a song that you feel like it's going to do it is it's not, like, that's not it. At all. Yeah. So, your sound, like, I know when, um, like I said, I had found you just off of the Explore page and mm-hmm. everything like that, and I was, like, reading some of your comments. Obviously, I know y'all don't really read comments like that. That's my job. I do that. So, Mm -hmm. they were saying that you were sounding like Tokyo Jets. All the time. So, when you were hearing that, how did that make you feel? Because I know that, like, turned up, like, I ain't Tokyo Jets. Like, I'm myself. Like, honestly, the first time when I ever went to the studio and actually recorded Valley Chicks, Mm -hmm. um, the producer at the time... This was in 2017, mind you. I had no idea who she was. Mm. The producer was like, "Yeah, she wasn't that." She reminded me of this this chick named what's her name, and he was like Tokyo Jets. That was the first time I ever heard it. Then Mm -hmm. every time I posted a freestyle, Tokyo Jets, Tokyo Jets. I'm Mm. like, who is this girl? Yeah. So I finally looked her up, and I was like, we are nothing alike. Like Mm. we don't rap about the same stuff. 
at all. Like sometimes we, you know, we got some of the things like cause her main thing that she raps about is like F these boys. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I am more of an emotional person. So I like to express myself, not just about guys, but about what I'm going through. Right. So when I kept hearing the comparisons, I still hear them to this day. Like it's so frustrating because we sound nothing alike. Mm -hmm. They just look at us and they're just like, okay, y'all look similar. So I'm just classify y'all in the same box. Y'all both yeah. from Florida. Y'all sound the same. Right. I think it's because, like, you guys are both, like, aggressive with it. Like, y'all yeah, are, are really aggressive. But then when you meet, like, you guys in person, y'all are so, like, hey, yeah, what's yeah, up? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a bad thing. But as an artist, you want to be defined as, as my yourself. Own person. Exactly. Right. I get it. Yeah. I totally understand that. So, two years into this, now you're starting to take it serious from lat the the end of last year to the beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. The features that you have going on and that you have been on, I know that like are pretty big to be honest with you. Like they're you like so? Yeah, like I mean I haven't really done that many features. I'm so You thinking. haven't done that many features, but the features that you have done and the people who have gravitated towards you are big. Yeah. So it's like mm -hmm. how do you how do you like take that and just explode into like what you need to do as far as like start making, I guess you would say not freestyles. Like take that same energy. Um, I ain't even gonna lie. Like people that I've worked with, like I've worked with Tony Boy, I've worked with um Cannon. Those are the two you know hot artists in uh, Orlando right now. Um, they motivate me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like to see <clears throat> where they are is just like dang i want to be like that too right like you know what i'm saying and then it, it would be different because they're guys i'm a girl i'm a female so it's like okay they can do it i know i can too i'm right. a female i'm hard i'm dope so they definitely you know inspire me so hopefully that answered your question no it did it did <laughs> it did so because as far as like i know females in the industry sometimes it's like discouraging because it's like it's always a male dominant very male dominant they always want to hear the males That's and so then crazy. it's like as soon as the girls come up it's like they don't they don't they don't put males against each other but they'll put the females against each other mm -hmm. so i get it so being inspired by a male it's like it's a different energy to be yeah honest. like i can't Man, all right, they can do it. Whatever. Exactly. I got this, man. I'm cuter than them. Yeah. Like, I can do this. <laughs> exactly. So speaking of being a female and other females in the industry, what other females have you worked with? I know that you work with um, AO, Air. Mm -hmm. I did the music video for that one. So yeah. That was dope. Yeah. That was real dope. I know that you had worked with, what was the first song that you had worked with? Was with it Pig? Female? Yeah, was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, Pig. Pig. That was, I th honestly, I can't even think of it anymore. Because like it. I said, I don't do features. I At don't all. really do fe I'm so picky about who I work with because from my last, pro well, my first project that I ever did, it taught me, okay, you got to make sure it's perfect. So I got to, it like, it made me into a perfectionist to the yeah, point where. you said you took it down. You yeah, I did it. because I didn't like it. Right. Like, even though, it, you know, people liked it, I didn't. I didn't mm -hmm. feel comfortable with it. But so I'm very picky with who I do my features with. So I haven't done a lot of features at all. Maybe, oh, and I worked with Tiffany. Official Tiffany. Okay. Yeah, so. I got to, like, I don't know. It's just super hard for me to get a feature. So, who would you want to work with if you could work with any other female besides the ones that you have worked with already? This way you play the da na 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 na, -na, -na. <laughs> um, Good question. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I like Kiwi. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, she, we just did um, a cypher that we're actually shooting a video for tomorrow, mm -hmm. she be killing shit. Yeah. Like, I would love to, yeah, I would love to work with her. That's honestly one of the people that I could come off the top with. Um, so, yeah. Okay, what about Badass Becky? I like Becky. Mm -hmm. What about, well, she's not from Orlando, um, but Ray Rihanna. Oh, yeah, I love her, too. I love her. I'll just be listening to her, to her song, Don't Step, Don't Step to Me, Woman. <laughs> so, I love that song. <laughs> okay, okay. So, what about males? I know that you have... I know that Bridges just came out, mm -hmm. real dope. Thank you. I was actually on the live of the, when y'all was making that, so oh, yeah. it was that was cool. How was how was that experience with just being in the studio with Cannon and y'all just going back and forth, feeding off each other's energy with that? Um, honestly, I don't know. Since you said you was in my live, but you probably could tell I was a little turnt. Mm -hmm. I was super tipsy, so it was mm -hmm. an amazing night. Um, it was it was dope because it was nothing but positive vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a real vibe kind of person real in tune with my emotions so i gotta make sure that that energy is there period and it was there right so it was super dope um 
You were excited know. about it? I was so excited, girl. And on top of that, I was already drunk. They had me. I done took shots the whole night. I'm like, yeah. So, all right, we're going to beach them next. <laughs> I went to beach them. I acted a fool. But anyways. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, the response off of Bridges, how is that? It's so crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of people like it. Um, I feel like the beat is what made it like that. And then putting Cannon on it, it was like the cherry on top. Because mm-hmm. I just felt like it was a super motivational song like okay regardless of how you finna get this money legally or illegally you finna get it is a motivational song like it should inspire you to get paid so the response has been super crazy okay yeah i ain't been on instagram in a few days to check on it or anything but so far that's what's mm-hmm. up that's what's up so what other things uh you're working on an album or a project or a mixtape mm-hmm. which one um what, i don't like know. what is it like i guess you could say it would it just i don't know i'm just working on a project Okay. I know I want it to consist of like five songs, well, four songs, and then like me talking kind mm-hmm. of a little bit, but I'm just working. It's super hard to find a beat because I'm a very picky person. Mm-hmm. So it's like, um, yeah, we got to start there. I want to have it out soon, but not too soon because we're doing, a, we plan on doing a video for Bridges. Okay. Yeah, I think I done said that so many times, yeah. but yeah, that's in the works too. Um, that's really all that I can think of that I have going on right now. Okay. I don't think I got a lot going on. <laughs> now on the project do you feature anybody else um i don't know you don't know yet i don't know yet i'm still um i'm still looking for artists not artists i'm still looking for um producers mm. so that's that's the hard part i just met up with a few like this week i really been busting my butt literally because i'm trying to have this out soon so i'm okay cataloging 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 all these beats i like that one like that one. so it's kind of hard yeah i don't really know if i'm gonna have any features yet mm. so so I know that um, one bro, mm-hmm. that's that's the bro. That's my brother, yeah. That's the bro, <laughs> real cool. Does he help you with any of your music? No. No? Mm-mm. Do you help him with any of his? Um, The only thing that I've helped him <clears throat> with from when we first started working together, like beginning of last year, end of 2017, I was like, everyone loves your bars. Like, we know that you can rap. You know what I'm saying? He gonna kill me for telling everybody this. <laughs> but anyways... Okay. I told him, I'm like, you need to add some melodies, like, Mm. because you can have the dopest beat, but if you just rap it for three minutes straight, don't nobody want to hear that. Right. You got to put something in between. So I can say I helped him in that way, (laughs) but yeah, we don't help each other write or anything or like, we just write it on our own time and then present it when we in a studio. How many songs do you guys have together? One. Just the, just the drip song? Yeah. That's it? Just one. (laughs) Yeah. He just hit me up, I think, like, yesterday. He was like, yeah, I got this song for you. I was like, all right. Like I said, his beat selection is different from my beat right. selection. So right. it's hard for me to get a feature. Like, I'm picky. I'm picky. picky. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You're allowed to be picky. Yeah, because I'm cute. Okay. <laughs> um. So you've been performing lately. Mm-hmm. What are the last three performances that you've had? Um, I had Smoke Chella. Um, I opened up for Anne-Marie. Mm-hmm. And... I don't remember the last one. I know I had another one, but yeah. I don't remember. Those are the two most recent. Um, what are your performances that you have coming up? Do you have any? Good question. Mm. Good question. If you could I perform have... anywhere, where would you perform? Mm, good question. Mm. These are questions <laughs> I don't want to answer. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't have any performances coming up. I don't know where I would like to perform because I don't know anything that's coming up. Okay. What about a dream venue? uh coachella mm. heck yeah i'm pretty sure that's everybody like yeah you know what i'm saying heck yeah headline coachella i'm trying to be like b yeah. or something i ain't trying to be like her but i'm trying to be like me right on her level on the level yeah I understand I understand okay um so real quick to just like a history like where do you get your inspiration from from all of this like the energy that you get to just <laughs> keep going mm-hmm. um being able to make this my job mm. like I ain't even gonna sugarcoat it like cuz I'm I don't want to keep working I don't want right. to keep punching in no clock I want to do something when I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning I know I'm gonna do something that I actually enjoy so that's what kind of motivates me and then also my supporters like as crazy as it may sound I know my fan base is not crazy big right now but the little people that comment and that send me stuff is like okay thanks yeah. oh my gosh and then like I told you from the beginning I never thought that nobody would like me mm-hmm. so just to see it completely opposite is like okay cool your so, yeah. mom is a big supporter oh yeah she is she was um 
where were we? We were at, I think it was at Sound Bar. Mm. I think it was at Sound Yeah, for Backwoods. Okay. When Trap Beckham was there. Mm, okay, okay. And she was snapping. I was like, yeah, okay. she, my dudes, that's definitely, she, she, if anything, she the one that'd be like, you better not stop, <laughs> for real, because <laughs> that's my dudes is definitely huge. That's what's up. For that's, real. that's important. Yeah, that, that I agree. family because a lot of people don't have it as crazy as it may sound like no nah, you better get punch on this clock somewhere go be a doctor mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying but my mom she wholeheartedly supports me she be listening to my music even the songs that i hate mm-hmm. like i'm like girl turn it off <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up that's what's up okay well is there anything else that you can just give us a little insight on um i feel like i gave y'all everything mm. not me exclusive y'all you know, i don't exclusive. know what my next show is i'm working on a project i got a video coming out well not coming out it's in the works mm-hmm. um that's really it okay yeah that's really it all right well thank you for you know being on the red couch thank y'all inner vision socks don't forget the x hey y'all bye y'all it's dree dree from south of Popka. <laughs> <laughs> give them your um all your social medias where we can find your music and everything too um, I'm only gonna give y'all my Instagram because I don't know my other things. Um, but you can find me on Instagram at underscore D R E C I, and then literally my Instagram will take you to everywhere else you need to be. I will spell out my Facebook for y'all, but I'm pretty sure you might get dyslexia trying to spell it out. You got one of those names? It's okay, it's all right. <laughs> Thanks, y'all.